Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Another mystery solved. Less than an hour ago, we finally learned who began funding of that Trump dossier here in Washington. An amazing and maybe not surprising tale. We'll tell you in a minute. But first, the avalanche of propaganda continues here. You can tell when the Democratic Party's PR apparatus believes it has come up with an especially effective talking point, because suddenly you hear the exact same phrase from the lips of every media-savvy congressman and cable news hack on television, including on this show. The latest, you might have noticed, we certainly have, is opposition research. That's what Democrats are now calling the Trump dossier, that collection of lurid, unverified allegations that in some cases appears to have come straight from the Kremlin. Last month, Democrats told us that dossier was evidence of treason. It was grounds for impeachment. Well, now that it turns out that Hillary and the DNC paid for it, the whole thing is being written off as merely opposition research. Totally routine, no big deal, move along, nothing to see here. Come on, why are you so uptight? We've heard the story a thousand times. Right, not so fast. In fact, the Trump dossier is far from just opposition research. For almost a year, it has been the linchpin in a remarkable effort to overturn last year's election results. Information in that dossier, which in retrospect looks frankly very much like disinformation, flowed from Russia to the Hillary Clinton campaign and the headquarters of the Democratic Party. From there, it somehow made its way throughout the Obama administration to the FBI and various other law enforcement agencies and intel agencies as well. The Obama administration used the dossier's allegations to justify spying efforts against American citizens, including Trump associates. In other words, the entire investigation into Russia and Russia collusion, the one that has stalled our government and changed our foreign policy, all of it grows from the now discredited Trump dossier. It's hardly just a piece of opposition research. It's a history-changing document, and apparently a fraudulent one. So it's no wonder so many people are now lying about it. Maggie Haberman and Ken Vogel, the New York Times report, the Democratic officials repeatedly lied to them for more than a year, claiming they had nothing to do with the dossier. Neither the Hillary Clinton campaign nor the DNC reported their payments to the firm that compiled it as they were required to do by law. And the lying continues to this moment. According to new reports today, both Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta and ex-DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz just last month told the Senate Intel Committee behind closed doors they had no idea who funded the dossier. They didn't know of any contractual relationship between the organizations they ran and Fusion GPS, the firm that put it together. Right. Not likely, actually. The DNC and the Clinton campaign combined paid more than $9 million to the law firm Perkins Cole for legal services, and it seems likely that Fusion was receiving the lion's share of that. We can't tell you exactly how much they were receiving because Fusion GPS has resisted congressional subpoenas of its financial records. Still, it seems almost certain to be a massive payoff, multi-millions of dollars. Were Wasserman Schultz and Podesta both so detached? from the campaigns they were running in a presidential year that they had no idea where millions of dollars went? That seems absurd. Meanwhile, less than an hour ago, as we told you just at the top of this, another great mystery has been solved. The identity of the funder of the original Fusion GPS opposition research on the Trump campaign. Now, we've known for a long time it was an anti-Trump Republican. Now, according to a report by the Washington Examiner's Byron York, we know it was the Washington Free Beacon. That's a website funded by hedge fund billionaire Paul Singer and founded in part by Twitter celebrity Bill Kristol. That's where it all began. And we can promise you that not a single person in Washington is surprised by that. David DeFerry is a former State Department official. He advised the Obama campaign on foreign policy, and he joins us tonight. David, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're here, because we've had many conversations about Russia over the past year, you and I, and you've expressed outrage at the collusion between the Trump people and Russia. Now that we know that the Hillary campaign colluded with Russia, took information from Russia to affect the outcome of the campaign, are you as outraged? First of all, I never expressed outrage that there was collusion. I expressed outrage that this, that Russia interfered in our election, which all of our intelligence agencies agree to. And I said that needs to be investigated. And if there is collusion, that's a very serious crime okay, by so, the Trump campaign. So we know that the Russians gave information through a couple of cutouts to the Hillary campaign and the Democratic National Committee 
to influence the election. So how is that different from what you just said? That's not what happened. Oh, how is that? The, what the news that we learned this week is that Hillary Clinton funded Fusion GPS, but we already knew that a Democratic ally had funded it. That came out in October 2016. If you look at the Mother Jones article, which first published these but allegations, we didn't know, we didn't it was clear that, then that, the that a Democratic ally had funded this. So we just now know which ally, okay. and it was the Hillary Clinton okay. campaign. But what you're doing is tracing the genesis of the story. I'm asking you a factual question about what happened. Russia gave information to Steele, the former MI, head of the Russia desk at MI6, who gave it to Fusion GPS, and then it flowed to the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC to influence the outcome of the election. So information from Russia was used to influence the outcome using Hillary as a conduit. And I'm just wondering, where's your outrage about that? That's not accurate. Well, how is that Steel, inaccurate exactly? Steele was hired to do opposition research. And as part of the opposition research, he talked to lots of people, not just Russians. He talked to people in Europe. He talked to people in the well, U.S. I'm I'm he certain found he sources, which is what but hold on, good intelligence you, agents do. So, and so you're, some of his sources were Russian. What he did? No, some of his sources were Russian sources. Okay, but I didn't say every, no, but you're, you, <laughs> I didn't say every source was Russian. I'm merely saying what we know from the public record and what the committee is in the process of learning is that information from the Russians, and that would be people associated with the Kremlin, the Russian government, found its way to the Clinton campaign. They paid for that information, and it was designed to influence the outcome of the election. So, I, I look, I'm just holding you to the standard that you set when you said this is undermining American democracy. This is hacking of an election. Why is it not the case here? Everyone should read the Steele dossier, and you will see there were many sources in the Steele okay, dossier. But, but that was one of them. Not them. just but, Russians. Well, but, yes, but some I'm Russians. not saying that it Correct. was the only one. But I'm also really people saying. like Carter Page, who worked for Trump, was I got a source. It. I got it. His lawyer but, Cohen but was a source. you're obscuring the point. And I think, our, I think our viewers know that you're obscuring the point, and I think that you know that you're obscuring the point. Look, if it's wrong for one side to do it, it is wrong for any side to do it. You have evidence here that it happened on the Democratic side. There is no evidence that the Republican side did it. If there is, I will denounce it along with you're you. equating two things that are not equal it is not wrong for opposition research to be conducted and for some of the sources to be Russian to be the Russian if government if the, so it's not you the, don't have a problem the with suspic that. suspicion is that Trump engaged in collusion with the Russians now let's remember one well, important wait a second thing. wait a second Hold Tell on. Me, no just really quick Let me why, real why did Hillary not engage I mean it's an honest question why given what we know now that apparently the Hillary campaign, the DNC working for the Hillary campaign, gave millions of dollars to get information from the Russians. How are they not colluding with the Russians? I'm missing this. I'm slow there's, there's nothing. There's no news that suggests they gave money to the Russians. They gave money to a British former intelligence agent who went around and collected information and paid money from to Russians. The Russians. We don't know that yet. Well, we I don't know we... what he did. Now, but let me make one important point. Okay? You don't seem that interested why in do we? Out, why do we have a special counsel investigation? We have a special counsel investigation because Trump fired the FBI director Comey. He fired the FBI director Comey no. because he was so worried no. about no. these no. I allegations. Think, I think you're missing a few steps, and you're, you, here's. A Step, the key step you're missing is that the investigation already begun. The Justice Department began investigating Correct. the ties between the Trump but campaign and But we got a and, special well, counsel on. investigation why did they do when that? Trump I, fired I, I Comey, got, correct? I, I've been here the whole time, but the the Ur investigation was underway, and it was underway in part because of material gleaned from the Trump dossier paid for by the Hillary campaign. It's a really simple question. Well, Does it bother no, you? You're, you're wrong. I'm not. I'm there were lots of reasons why the FBI started I said in part. Including, including they had surveillance. They, said this. they had surveillance of okay, Trump Dave, David, campaign I, officials talking to Russians. I, I got that's it. Does it why, bother you? But that's also why they opened an investigation. They didn't just open you an investigation. You can't have a conversation with someone who's shouting. So okay. I'm going to lower my voice. I hope you'll do the same. We know because it has been publicly reported that the head of the FBI, Jim Comey, tried to add the Trump dossier to the January intel report from the intelligence community showing that Russia interfered in our election. So this report played a pivotal role in the investigations we're now living through. And I'm asking you a simple question. Does it bother you that a campaign document, opposition research, wound up circulating through the Obama administration through law enforcement and intelligence agencies? How the hell did that happen? But Tucker, you're trying to argue that all roads, arguing, I'm all roads lead back to the Steele dossier, and that's not I'm correct. You, For instance, the January you? intelligence report that came from our CIA, our FBI, okay. from our State Department, that was based Just on their review of, of what happened Here's in what, our campaign and their review of the data and the stealing of data you know from the you, DNC. You emails. and so th that, the lunatic congressman we had on last night have are, convinced me you guys know that there's no answer to these questions, and so you're filibustering. That's why we 
you have a special counsel. Okay. The special counsel will find the answers. Ooh, and this, you should support that. This is hurting. This is really hurting. You just proved that because you're a reasonable guy, but you're acting in an unreasonable manner, which suggests that you know this is bad. It's bad, David. We're going to find out. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker.